Hello gamers, uh, Pet here, welcome to another video, it's 2nd uh, January 2021, can you guys believe it, it's 21 already, and it's uh, that time of the year when I'm, you know, the beginning of the year when I'm making a video of the all the vinyl records that I bought in the last year, right? So in this video you will see all uh, the records that I bought in 2020. Uh, and there are a couple of them actually in 2019 my, my video from last year was uh, one hour long uh, this year it's supposed to be I, I will try to make it also one hour long but last year I bought 83 vinyls records vinyl records this year I have 48 there are there's supposed to be another one that's supposed to arrive already my friend George already got his but I didn't so you will see that that vinyl into the hopefully into the next year's uh, video, and then I also paid for something like three others, uh, which kind of didn't arrive. They supposed to arrive in January, and one of them got even postponed. So, anyway, uh, without further ado, let's actually start with uh, part time and Mexican City Blondes. I did showcase those. Uh, in the last year's video even that those arrived you know last year in january and i'm kind of counting the vinyls that arrive uh in the you know the months but those supposed to arrive in december but they got you know mixed a little bit in the shipping and they arrived in january and i only showed them briefly i believe but i also i won't focus too much on them uh mexico city blondes uh adio i believe it's a song that i like and all night and i actually mostly bought it I looked at their, uh, oh, there is a long story with Burger Records, uh, Cancel Culture unfortunately hit them uh, and it, they also hit Part Time and Part Time the band, you know my favorite band from 2019 and last year also uh, they kind of got cancelled uh, and they are not playing anymore and uh, but yeah uh, there are some other stories with Part Time this year, uh, the vinyls that I got so I, I, I will talk about them when I arrive but this vinyl has been great you can listen to hide i can treat you better so far away it's also nice spell number six and it's all right with me and unfortunately this is the i mean it's good that the vinyl is the orange one as you can see it's a little bit of, it, a little bit of orange there uh, there is another version that's on green i don't care about the green but i care about the seven inch that exists uh, and I do want that 7 inch because that 7 inch has uh, two songs, two, the, two bonus songs from this album that I would like to have, but I don't, so yeah. Now, kind of like the first purchase that I've done uh, last year was this. I mean, oh my god, the quality, you know? I mean, the cover itself is very washed out. This is how the album cover is, but yeah, this is the first album of the Smiths called The Smiths. Um, I like pretty young, uh, pretty girl my graves, hand in glove. What the different uh, does it make? And I actually like kind of the whole album, which is why I bought it. It's a repress from um, two, three years ago. It wasn't that expensive, so I was like, yeah, I want to have this in my collection. Then uh, let me see how. I need to be. There are a lot of vinyls right now, so I need to be sure how I'm storing them, uh, so I can. Put them back safely <laughs> now this album is uh, new new candies this is the band uh, the the album is called new magenta it's very glossy as you can see and i actually got it signed by the band because i've seen them live their drummer was pretty good it's kind of this stoner rockish uh, psychedelicish a little bit maybe uh, this is the band and uh, <coughs> I kind of bought it usually i avoid i kind of tired of stoner bands and so on but they sound that good live and uh, the vinyl was at a decent price i believe it was 80 lei uh, and i decided i always like to buy vinyls when i'm um, seeing a band live if i enjoyed the band live mostly to support the band and you know so on uh, i should actually put it to listen it i haven't listened to it in some months uh, but yeah, that it is that it, <coughs> that that disease. Jesus Christ! So, what we have here are four vinyls that I bought from um, my pet flamingo. It's a record label specialized in this kind of city funk, uh, vaporwave, and so on. 
so I ordered four from them because you know <laughs> save on shipping and whatnot this is my first 10 inch um, it's unfortunately because of the, the light is very glossy everything is very glossy hopefully next uh, this year I mean I, I will hope to move to a new place and make a proper studio so I can do those videos better um, because I do enjoy making them but I also want to have some quality in uh, in the video so this is a uh, future girlfriend <laughs> I actually I've actually listened to to a song you know before knowing that this exists on vinyl uh, you know the song pink dance that's that's what I recommend you and I was like yeah let's also buy this one then what we got is uh, school school Toyama uh, Toyama Love Island uh, I do recommend you having a good time and midnight mall they sound very I will try to put so maybe you in the background when I'm going to edit uh, this video but I don't want to trigger any kind of uh, uh, synchro start go city I do like this song is the song number five sounds very bassy when uh, when it starts but uh, the most special gem probably is signed Pepsi Empire building <coughs> this is the so I, I suppose to receive right now uh, hit vibes from Sign Pepsi, but hopefully it didn't got lost anyway. But this one is actually also really nice to listen. Um, I did found just by listening to the the, the record, uh, I did found this song Silhouettes, which I enjoy a lot. But the song that I knew from beforehand is this one, Alpin Ice, um, which is also nice. So this. Kind of completes <laughs> for now my Vapor City Funk collection. Now let's move into a little bit more uh, rock. <laughs> Div. This one is really nice. It's I mean it's two vinyls, uh, two records. Uh, Bent Roy's song. This is the song that I've listened to a lot. The instrumental part from the second half, it's really, really, really good. I do recommend you to try it out. Uh, and then Under the Sun was another one. I mean, the whole album is okay, but those are the songs that I'm trying to get in front. Then I also got from Div this, the first album, Oshin. And if I remember correctly, Doused is the song that I first heard about them. But this first side uh, is also really, really nice. And if I remember correctly, when I did this order, I also got something else. Let me see real fast. And of course, the, set the settings of the video change a little bit. I'm not sure why, but whenever I record every 10 minutes or more, my settings from the freaking webcam reset and I have to redo them again. And the painful shitty... Oh my god, I mean, the, the, the webcam settings window is the same for like 20 years. Oh man. But I did find out, when I ordered those two vinyls, I also ordered this. Gap Dream Strong Love, uh, which also has uh, part-time My Jamie. Uh, and I do have My Jamie on the full vinyl, full record release, but uh, now I have it on the 7-inch also, which is uh, nice. Then... I went, then I went to the last concert I've ever been this year, around Feb February, where I bought uh, this vinyl, which actually looks great, from Metadon Skies. They are a local band from uh, Timisoara, and you know, again, I like to support them, and I got them, and it's signed, and so on. Uh, again, it's stoner rockish, but they sound really good live, and uh, I... Uh, this had to buy it. I mean, the, the artwork is really, really great. The whole, the whole package looks, looks really amazing. Then, uh, one of my most played songs in 2018 is actually from this album. Uh, it's Yakuningatar. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's from Litku Klemeti. Uh, she's a singer from Finland, and I got this album. And I've listened to it a lot, and I was like. Yeah, I need to have it. And then it was sold out and it was repressed. It was sold out again. And at some point last year in March, I saw that almost, you know, this album, this album, 
this is the last the last, the last album and this album uh, they are available and I bought them there are still two more albums from uh, from Litko that I won from her first two albums when she had the band now she has the same band but it's just Litko Clemetti uh, I also bought the seven inch uh, so yeah this was an order that came from Finland um, this song Kaikiki Peititi Keikili, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, it's uh, it's good, it's from from this latest album, which is not that great maybe, I didn't, it didn't click that much, but yeah, that's a song that I like. Um, from this, this album, who it's pretty hard to read, but Lisa Tule Raikunen, and there were about two others, I believe, but I can't see with this purple design and this one also had another one that i liked but i can't see it it was from this side no hmm should it be the seven one but anyway listen to yaiku ingatar it starts really really good that's the main reason i bought and then you know of course i also listen to this other album then i haven't <laughs> I was planning to start the album like this, like with a small introduction that, you know, I got some new bands, but I also got some albums from my old bands, you know, from bands that I've listened to 10 years ago. Well, <laughs> this is one of the albums. Well, welcome to wherever you are from In Excess. I've listened to this album a lot when I was little on cassette tape. The cover was different and I still remember the story. Um, the story has three boys in some kind of uniform. Uh, and I, I remember telling my father like I'm not going to listen to this look how they look and my father told me like don't, don't look, look at the cover listen to the whole thing and I did and I enjoyed it a lot questions haven't sent it's a really good song uh, communication and then one of my favorites not enough time and this is something that you know I usually don't listen to hey look it's a gatefold I usually don't listen to lyrics <laughs> for me the voice is just an instrument but uh, you know the, the 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 chorus has something like not enough time to something something not enough time to something something i want to be inside you and only found out you know <laughs> we know something in high school what 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 this means uh and then strange desire man and woman this whole album is great and i was lucky to even get it even that you know in excess is a popular band and this isn't some rarity the album but it was available on hhv.de, you know, the, the place where I buy vinyls. Uh, but then it was sold out and I was like, huh, where I, I want to buy it, where should I buy it? And then I remember, hey, Kurturesht, which is a bookstore, who, who they also have comic books, tea and other stuff, and they also have music. They're supposed to maybe have this, and they did, <laughs> they only had one copy and I got it, so yeah. Then, another one of the most listened albums uh, I mean, some of the most listened songs that I've listened in the past five years, mostly because I have a playlist called Work. Uh, <laughs> that's how the playlist is called. But usually it has more chill stuff, new retro wave, and I always start when I want to concentrate. I always start with from that playlist with a song from from um, from Leka Set, this album, uh, and that song is You Are You Are Radio, and here uh, and no. Uh, you are you are radio and there was one more anyway the idea is that uh, this album came out in 2018 and I had no job back then and I was like I need to be smart with the money and then you know years passed things became more stable and I was like ah oh, man it's so unfortunate that I don't have this album and uh, then I noticed on a Facebook group where I am Someone posted that, hey, they have uh, some uh, restock, right? And I was like, look, lyrics, the whole package looks really great. And this other vinyl is some kind of green. Um, and I managed to buy one of those five vinyls. I, I came out right when they announced it. Uh, it came from uh, Europe, so it was okay. But yeah, listen to uh, Electric Paradise. You are, you are, radio, arms of mine, it's also nice. Uh, it's kind of like this new retro wave, popish 80s vibes with male vocalist, and he has a good voice. Then, 
Let me put those back into the Then I was lucky that I got two albums from Part Time from Burger Records. Uh, I was actually talking with the label guy, and he told me that he's going to repress them. And I waited and I waited, and uh, yeah, they got repressed. This is Part Time Virgo's Maze. It's on black and white. And one of the reasons, you know, I told you that one of the reasons why I like talking about. No, not talking, <laughs> listening <laughs> to music on vinyl is because it forces me to listen to the whole package, right? And because of that, I, I, I managed to find new songs, right? And this is what happens here. Those are some of the first songs I heard like four years ago uh, from part-time. Honey Lips. Uh, and then there was another one, I believe. But, you know, the idea is that, you know, my Jamie already talked about that song. Honey Lips is good. And then recently I found about New Beginnings, which is a great song. Try, uh, try it out. Then it's, it's it's Elizabeth. Then Guns Vien. It's a cover from <laughs> from Falco, but they I read an interview and they just kind of like it's gibberish because they don't speak German, you know. And they just try to mimic what he would say. But the whole sound uh, sounds really really good. Then we have. Uh, yeah, kind of to try those one. I don't want to get you too much on um, on this. And this is the latest album from Part Time. I really love the cover. It's maybe not that great, or I haven't discovered everything. But try out every everyone's got a gun. Um, I like that one. Then I got another order from HHV, and I order Ariel Pink, dedicated to Bobby uh, Jameson, John Mouse. We must become the pitiless censors of ourselves, and she passed away. Belir di Cece, not sure how to pronounce it, but um, let's talk about Ariel Pink. Ariel Pink, it's I, I do enjoy him a lot. He's very, I mean, I wanted to say weird, but he's kind of like this pure artist. And it's he's a bit difficult to listen. This album is more clean than his early work when he was everything you know recording everything in the basement and and so on and so on, right? Uh, and I was like, I wanted to buy another one, which <laughs> I did in the meantime, by the way. But this song, uh, where are the songs? I want to tell you, uh, feels like heaven. Try to listen to feels like heaven, and there wasn't another weekend. Feels like heaven and another weekend from this album. Then from She Passed Away, I wanted to also get the latest album, but this is the first one and it, I can't really find it that much. So it's good that I got it. Uh, Ritual, they are a Turkish uh, dark, dark wave band, or however we call the genre, uh, from Turkish. So yeah, Turkey. So Ritual. Whenever I hear Ritual, I'm thinking of zombie ritual. Ritual <laughs> from Death. Now, John Mouse, I've been listening to some songs from this album for about five years or so, and now I finally got it. Uh, hey Moon, and then Cop Killer, and then there was Head of the Country. Try to listen to those ones. He's also deep. <laughs> you, you can find a lot of stuff by listening to John Mouse, so yeah, try, try him out. Then, where were we? Let's see. This is this is a new stack. <laughs> uh, record store they came out, and Mark De Marco got two demo albums out. As you probably know, I like Mark. Mark De Marco was my favorite artist from 2007, 2000, uh, 2017, 2018 or so, or 2016 and 2017, kind of like that, and and some parts of 2018. Then I liked uh, part time. And I like to buy kind of everything from Magda Marco. His latest album, Here Comes the Cowboy, is eh, not that great, maybe. I don't enjoy it that much. But these are Here Comes the Cowboy demos. So I got it. Uh, this is it. These are the demos of the songs that make it, made it into the, um, the albums. But he also released on Record Store Day, he also released other 
here comes the, the, the cowboy demos, right? So it's very confusing. I got this one from uh, Rough Trade and the story with, with the order from Rough Trade and you will see the other vinyls that came from Rough Trade. Uh, I made the order to be sure that I catch the albums, right? In the past years, I had a guy f who was working there and he put some side from Mark DeMarco on the side, but he doesn't work there anymore. Uh, the thing is, uh, oh yeah, two weeks passed and nothing happened with my order, so I decided to call them in the UK, right? Uh, and it's an actual record store. Uh, and the guy went to check out the vinyls, he still found them and then he, you know, to ship them. I was like, oh man, this, we dodged the bullet because he might not... He was totally unprepared to ship my order. <laughs> so yeah, the thing is that he ordered Here Comes the Cowboy Demos. Those are songs that didn't make it into the official demo, right? Uh, those songs are kind of better than the, uh, the album. I kind of enjoyed this more. But yeah, anyway. Then uh, from the record store day, I also bought uh, The Wake, Here Comes Everybody. This is a band from... Uh, Scotland, I believe, and they were active in the 80s or something. Uh, the thing with this song is also because of Spotify. Um, you have lyrics here. Also because of Spotify, I found out about... Uh, oh, and I forgot about this. It also comes with a 7-inch. Yeah. Um, Spotify suggested me a song from them. And in Spotify... That, the, that song is on this album, but that album is just a digital remaster and the song officially is not on this album, so I don't have that song. So my search continues on getting that song. That song is available on, on some inches, so at some point I will order that song. Um, but this album is actually really enjoyable and I do recommend you to listen to Melancholy Man. Um, and yeah, I'm happy that I got it, but now that I'm seeing, I do have a small sip split here. Anyway, uh, this is why it's good to have protection for your vinyls. Then, when I did the order from Rough Trade, I also ordered. Um, uh, how the hell do I? I have a lapsus now. Chromatics, yeah, I, I want other albums from Chromatics, uh, Cherry especially. Uh, but this album was on discount, only like 13 pounds. 13 pounds, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy the double album for that price in a gatefold, right? <coughs> and it was okay because, you know, buying, but by, by my music like that, sometimes you really found gems and so on. Uh, and they have a, a song about a mountain. Here comes... Uh, I'm looking where the the song list are, but I can't see it. And look for the song with the mountain something. This supposed to move a mountain, yeah. That's that's the one. Then, also, when I was ordering from uh, this, is, <laughs> this is one of the reasons. In that period, I ordered from HHV, uh, and I wanted to get some stuff there, but some stuff were on HHV, but they weren't on Rough Trade, and then vice versa, right? I wanted to buy Trust. Uh, album destroyer number one L last year or actually the other year i believe he released two albums oh no it was last year uh part one and part two i don't like part two that much so i didn't got it yet but i got part one which i enjoy and try to listen to gone and bicep and try to listen to those two i also got two of his other albums last year and i showed them to you then also, from Rough Trade, one of the reasons why I ordered it was Ariel Pink Haunted Graffiti. That's his first band, it was called Ariel Pink's Haunted Graffiti, right? And this is the guys that were singing then. Uh, right now he's just called Ariel Pink. I think he dissolved the band. But this is, uh, is an album from 2010 and this is their, their breakup album. Uh, and uh, Round and Round, listen to that one. And then But House Lovers, I believe, it's more metal, this song, how it started, but Round and Round, it's a really good song. Then... <laughs> Ariel Pink Pom Pom. This is the song that's right on this album. It's called Not Enough Violence, which I do recommend you a lot. It's the first album that I listened to Ariel Pink. 
if you want to start with Taylor and Pink, maybe this is the album. Even th this one is very complex. Like just by listening to the album, I discovered yet another song, which is called White Freckles. Um, so yeah, that's another song that I recommend you, White Freckles. Uh, and he changes the rhythm and not enough time actually has a really interesting drum section uh, it's a song a long song it's a six minute song so yeah i saw this on hhv three years ago I didn't have money that much then and i was like i'm not going to buy uh, an album for one song but now i did and i found other songs so yeah i now i'm also having ariel pink pom pom uh, then I'm happy that I managed to get this album. It's Molchat Doma, their second album. Uh, you might have heard Sudo, which it's their song um, that's used in some memes. Uh, but I like the second song. Oh man, they are written in like the first one, the second one. Sudo, I've listened a lot there, and there was another one, but I don't know those Kirillic characters. Uh, and yeah, I was a bit lucky to get this one. Maybe not that lucky, it's not that rare, but it was, you know, to finally find it somewhere in stock where I don't pay shipping only for this one. Uh, so I don't really remember how I've ordered it. But anyway. There are these, uh, I, I'm listening to a lot of uh, Russian post-punk, so they are post-punk. So this is, I, I made a special video for my Sardew Valley vinyls where you are going to see this one. This is a box set. Again, it was sold out, repressed, sold out, repressed. It's from Fun Gamer, where I've ordered some other stuff, uh, clothes, t-shirts and so on. Uh, and I decided to finally order this one too. It's it's big. It's It has all those, you know, spring, summer, fall and winter. Uh, yeah, I made a special video with this one. I do recommend you to check that one out. And I'm happy that I finally have this one in my collection. Then, let me see real fast. I think I'm kind of, I, I kind of mixed the, the, the vinyl packs up, out. I supposed to go on this stack <laughs> and not on the stack that I, I was already showing you, but it doesn't matter. You do not know that, even that I just told you, right? Um, Mitch Murder selection. I'm kind of ordering everything from Mitch Murder. I want him to release Mitch Murder uh, Current Events, which was my most played album in 2015. But uh, this one has his selections, something like four albums uh, that are on these neon colors. You can see a little bit of green there, uh, another green there, a little bit of red there. They look great. Um, the thing with Mitch Murder, this, this, I do need to listen to those more. I've, I've listened to them overall, but I can't, you know, there are four albums here of, after all. Um, let me see. The Knight Rider team. <laughs> Knight Rider team, that, that one is the best. Oh man. He has a remix of the Knight Rider team, yes. Mm. So. Uh, the story with Whitey. I got two albums from Whitey. I did found also because of Spotify. I did found out uh, about Whitey, and especially a song, Saturday Night Eight Hour Lives. Listen to that one; it's really really good. Um, and the thing is that I was looking for that song. Like he didn't had. Yeah, and my settings of the webcam reset yet again. So anyway, uh, yeah, Saturday Night eight, 8 Hour Lives. Uh, he had a Kickstarter some time ago, I didn't know about it. And he kind of also disappeared and so on and so on. And he did manage to fulfill all his Kickstarter things. He had a proper pack with two, 200 pounds with all his albums and an art book with lyrics and stuff like that. Uh, but he also repressed all his albums, so that's why I got the album that has Saturday Night uh, It Our Lives. And since I was ordering from him, I was like, let's order another album. And I got YT7, uh, and 7 has... Um, where's the song list? Uh, Death AM, I believe, and Thank You For Letting Me Down. Yeah, 
he's kind of like a... I mean, he is a rapper, but he's not like rapping like how you imagine it. He's kind of like... Hmm, not even an electronic musician. I mean, how do I to put it? He does a lot of things in his music, right? So... Then... Uh, I hate the webcam settings. I'm not sure why they reset. Then, you know how I told you some minutes ago that this year is the year where I managed to get some of the vinyls I missed from the last years and now I have them in my possession. Um, this is how I managed to get those two. Uh, FM Attack, it's new retro wave band, synth wave band. And this is their, I think it's their first album. This is the second pressing. Uh, and this one is a perfect vibe for, um, how to put it, a perfect vibe for kind of like nostalgia trip <laughs> to the 80s. Like listen to Magic, w w the first song with you tonight, Corazon is also great. Uh, Tears Don't Lie, it's a fast tempo uh, song, Runaway, the whole album is actually great. And on this album, I'm happy that I got, I do enjoy, I do enjoy uh, images of you. So I tried that, um, try that album, uh, song. Then, <laughs> one of my most listened, uh, something like 10 years ago, I was looking for uh, some smooth jazz to listen when I'm working and I found about uh, Kenny G. And this album is actually great and I've listened to this album a lot of times, like a really lot of times. And I want like, hey, I want to have this on vinyl. And I did found a website that sells you know, used vinyls, it was 40 lei, and I ordered it and the guy accidentally sent it, even that I paid a bit too much for Romania shipping. Um, he accidentally, you know, in order to get it through courier, he sent it to postal. So that was annoying because it's one hour I have to wait at the postal office and then when this arrived uh, it has this wrap which basically sends the whole disc up it's really unplayable like you can't really see it that well uh, like this you can see something but this was really unplayable so I, I exchanged some messages with the guy and then he sent me uh, the stuff back but this was a lesson learned not to order really old vinyls um, from the internet but the thing is that uh, three days later or something like that let's just put this one back where it belongs three days later uh, the local uh, vinyl store called Vin Vinyloteca right <laughs> they, he posted some pictures with some new albums that he was going to get and he has Kenny G and it was 35 lei and not 40 lei and the cover is much better and uh, yeah this, the album now sounds great so now I have Kenny G on vinyl so yeah that's great <clears throat> then you know how I said some minutes ago that uh, this year I'm getting some of the albums from my bands that I liked years ago right so here we have Pieces with the album Bossa Nova. This is the 30 years edition, meaning that it's, uh, I, I, was get, I was hoping that they will get kind of like, like the one from last year, where they got like three LPs into one and not only the album. This one is just red, it looks really great, it sounds really great. So I'm happy that now I have Pieces uh, Bossa Nova. But by the way, I forgot to tell you what songs to listen from uh, Kenny G. Uh, just really let it play. <laughs> it has a good. Uh, what uh, doesn't. Mm, Sade is great. Uh, Midnight Motion. They, they are different. O on the vinyl, they are different on how they are digitally. So, this is why I'm a bit confused. But just let it play. So, this is the album. The new album from Pixies. From, you know, after their 30, 25 years old break. Uh, initially, it came out. Uh, uh, some APs and now they made it into an album I believe it came out in 2013 or something like that and this edition in particular it came out during the record store day it has two vinyls and then uh, seven inch 
Uh, Back boy, it's nice. Andro queen, under T in the ocean, toe in the ocean. Snakes, what goes boom. It's a bit different than their older albums, but not too different. It's it's enjoyable. But you know, old school fans will be like, yeah, the new stuff is not as good as the old one, and so on and so. On. But no, it's it's actually okay. Then <laughs> some of the one of the best covers. Those are the Klaxons. It, uh, this album came out uh, in 2010, I believe, but this is uh, from Record Store Day. And check out the back of the album. <laughs> this one is one of the best. Uh, what song to recommend you? There was one that I've listened to a lot, but I don't remember how it's called. Uh, Surfing the Void? I think it's Surfing the Void. But anyway. Uh, those are the the band guys. I, I don't think they they listen that they sing anymore. City is annoying when you get split like that. It's in nice orange. So yeah, those are the klaxons. And uh, and then <laughs> you know how I said some minutes ago that I got some albums from bands that I liked in the past. So I got Primus. Tales from the Punch Bowl. Uh, Primus, it's a weird band to put in a club, maybe because they are a bit peculiar. But they do have this song, Wyona's Big Brown Beaver, which actually might actually... It seems like a more proper song. The rest are a bit weirder, longer, and so on and so on. But it, I like the whole album, but uh, Wyona's Big Brown Beaver. Um, then what you can listen... Glass Sandwich, Hellbound... Yeah, try, try those ones. And there are some others from Primus that I want to get, but yeah, I, I started with this one. It's also repressed. Some of those bands from the 90s they don't have LPs, they only had tape and, uh, you know, uh, CD. Then, at some point, the guys from Black Shell Records, I believe, Black, I forgot how they are called, Jesus Christ. They release video game music, and that's the place where I go. They also distro other labels. Uh, that's where I got the Stardew Valley thingy. Uh, and they released the, you know, five year album for free. This was free, but I paid for the shipping, 12 euros. Uh, only wanted to have it in my collection. There are like two songs that fell out nicely. They are smooth and like that but it's nothing spectacular those are also songs from video games but there are video games i haven't heard about so yeah i don't know then my we are we are at the end i did made an, an order with georgia on hhv i wanted one vinyl in particular and since i'm making an order let's buy another vinyl and i bought fanfara chocolia best of gypsy brass uh, i like fanfara chocolia it's a brass band from uh, from uh, Romania, they are very known outside Romania. Uh, this song, Sandala, it's great. Uh, even that this version in particular, it's not the Sandala with the brass, it's the Sandala with strings, sang by another uh, band, the string band, not a brass band, right? Uh, if I remember correctly. Asphalt Dango, it's great. And then Sirba de la Zece Prejini, it's a very punk song. Try to listen to that song to see how it is. It was cheap, it was 80 lei. But the main album why I wanted to buy to buy uh, from uh, HHV is this one actually. It was kind of sold out from places, it's from some years ago. It's um, Night School is the Neon Indian, no, Night School is the album. Neon Indian, and it's I'm really really happy to purchase. It's on yellow ish and like this the thing is that it says 33 rpm but it's 45 actually <laughs> it was a misprint but let let me tell you about the songs um any that's a good one and then i like slum lord and slum lord re-release it's listen to the whole thing it's kind of have this good dance vibe so it's really good for that um i also have to thank joe for giving me you know this cover for for uh, the vinyls i need to order for some of for some of mine 
I remembered. Also on record store day I got this design from Ace of Bass. It has original mix and instrumental. <laughs> it was 10 euros and I like the song. Ah, then I'm going to leave my most precious vinyl at the last. But one of the most albums that I have also listened is Bjork debut. It's her first album. Uh, and Human Behavior, Venus as a Boy, Big Time Sensuality, Come to Me, It's Nice and Violent Happy. Uh, tried those songs. I mostly bought it because I had, you know, from work I won a 100 lei voucher from Kurturesht and I was like, hey, Kurturesht has albums and I don't need books right now because I have plenty of books to read. And I did found, oh, I only found this one to order. I was like, okay, Bjork it is, so I ordered Bjork. And my most precious, it arrived two days before my birthday, it's part-time, what would you say, it's the first album. I was completely lucky to finally have it. Uh, I've been looking every day for the past eight months or something on Discogs to see what albums from part-time they pop up. Now I have this one and I'm only missing one, it's Return to Cherry. That one is the most hardest to get. I've tried to email and you know, message guys from Discogs that have it. They don't want to sell it. It's only 500 copies. This one was a thousand, I believe. And then they also had a repress. This is a repress. It's not numbered. The first one is numbered. So the first one was 750. Uh, this one is a repress. I'm not sure how many. But well, this one is their, their first album. It's from 2011, I believe. It's great. Listen to Living in Pretend. She's got the right. Uh, in this filthy city, uh, uh, it's also nice. Hey Karen, and then Cassie, would you be my doll? This whole first side flows very, very well. But if I were to, you know, pick one song, try Casey and I want to take you out probably. But yeah, this is it uh, for this year, I believe. I don't think I've missed anything. Let me check real fast. Hey, webcam settings reset right now at the end of... Uh, of the video would you look at that and i believe this is it this is it guys it was a long year where a vinyl bring right now what's on my platter it's actually this one i did show to you last year but it's really really great album drop majesty modern mirror give it a listen the first side flows really really well this is why I'm playing the first side so anyway thank you guys for watching this uh, see you soon I guess hopefully we will see each other soon goodbye